corners. You ever take a shit that stunk so bad, couldn't wait to get away from it? You're sitting there, squeezing, and it's scraping and burning its way out of your asshole. And it's a goddamn mystery how something like that could be inside you. And when you're done, you can't help but turn around and look at it and think, God damn fuck, what did I just create? You think that's the way it was when your mom gave birth to you? And your dad, he was like, I'm not the wicked one, Mother Rufus is the wicked one. Did he tell you about the Forsyth girl? I don't want to do this, boy. He's been cheating on you with some girl half his age. Do you get it? He's been fucking you while his dick is still wet with this other girl. Stop it. Shut your filthy mouth. I seen it. I watched it with my own two eyes. I watched from a tree. I want you out of this house. I don't even know you anymore. Stay down there. You ain't never coming back in this house again. <coughs> you gonna start bawling? You need to take that behind the shed. I don't want to hear that shit. You just said to me yourself, the Madras has a population of 4,300,000. Actually, it's... 4,416,056. And now you want to tell me that not one of those people can come to the phone! Your voice sounds terrible, Bob, like you have something in your mouth. You do have something in your mouth. What do you have in your mouth? You have blood in your mouth. Sorry to hear that, Bob. I, I, I thought you had a hard time talking. Nevertheless, Bob, just, just yell once more for my sake, Bob. Nobody? We could really use another eyewitness now, Bob. You wouldn't want to go out on the street and ran up someone yourself. Ooh, the radiation. I understand. I bet the rays you're so afraid of have already been absorbed by Daryl Mother Earth and made harmless. How long do they last? 99 years. But suit yourself. You must know what your job is worth to you. Mr. C. One moment, Bob. Yes? Fred has just broached the subject to HB. Yes, and, and, and how did HB take it? He smiled, Mr. Sieg. Really, Jane? Yes, yes, Mr. Sieg. I hope Fred won't forget to tell HB whose proposal was. Bob, I know you don't have ears anymore. Would you nevertheless please try to listen to me one more second? I don't want you coming to me one day and saying that you... Hello, Bob, I don't hear your throat rattling anymore. Hello, Bob, are you still there? HB admits, Bob, that you do your very best, but sometimes, Bob, you have to do more than your best if you want to keep your job. I'm sorry, Bob, but we'll just have to let you go. <laughs> Jane. Mr. C? Do you have our holiday card list handy? Yes, Mr. C. Cross off our men in Madras. Come on, I want to show you this plane. <laughs> and the rest of my plan. Wait, hold on, what is this? That might be the only problem we do have. This Ooh. is the bathroom. Holy crap. Well, it's not Whoa. really adequate Pardon the for pun. This place is a dump. Because the water has been dirty off in a There's while, so it's just This is the gross. only bathroom in the place? <sighs> Come on. Wow. <laughs> wow. You can tell a real Captain Industry set in this place. I'm in here, help me, please! 